So the Phantoms beat the uh, Leeds Knights 6-4 and uh, with me I'm really pleased, really delighted to have uh, Tom Norton, Tom. A, uh, a hard fought two points, much, much needed after a defeat on the road last night, but how does that feel? It's good to get the, the two points obviously and you know the way we went about it in the, in the third I guess um, was good to see but again I think we've had these conversations before where you know 40 minutes there we're playing kind of ping pong hockey with them and that's how they would have wanted it really a nice open game they were short staffed like we were and you know it, again we're, we're lucky in a way that we're able to turn it around in the third period because there's been games and there will be games where if we don't turn up for 40 minutes we're not going to be able to turn it around in 20. Uh, we've done an awful lot of these interviews this, this year where the Phantoms have been trailing and we came back from two twice tonight and, and that shows some resilience, it shows some character. But I think one of the, the, the you know, you look at key moments and uh, the start of the third, obviously you, uh, you skate into the, into the uh, circle over the hash marks and leather that one in after 36 seconds. That's a pivotal moment. Yeah, I, I don't know, it must be playing here for eight years. I kind of know the bounces of the boards. I don't think they were too sure and yeah, it just kind of sat nicely nicely for me and I was able to, I guess, place it in the corner. It's, um, it's well worth doing on this ice because it's so narrow, even though like you're kind of outside the dots, you're still kind of closer than you would be, say, playing in Sheffield. So, um, but, you know, that, that's a moment there that then we were able to build on. It was just, you know, we had moments like that in the first two periods and we didn't build on them. We kept on them making mistakes again and allowing Sheffield back, uh, Sheffield leads back into the game. Yeah, so frustrating. You know, obviously we, we concede after a minute. In fact, we led for six minutes and 37 seconds. I, I mean, don't get me wrong, you want to you win the game and if it goes in off someone's skate in the last second, you take the victory. But uh, a lot of chasing and as you say, uh, you, can't, you can't guarantee that we're going to come back. Thought uh, special teams, we talk about it all the time, every special teams was huge. Uh, I think they had maybe three uh, power plays that we kept two out and, and then of course scored power play goals of our own. Yeah, um, I suppose we've been fortunate really that our special teams have been so good this year. Um, they've kept us in a lot of games and won us some games really. I think if you I think there's a stat breakdown somewhere where like we're definitely up there in both the PK and the PP yeah. columns. So um, you know it's they do win, win and lose your games really. So um, you know it's been good that we've been able to do that. But it'd be um, we need to sort out our five on five play really, especially those first two periods. Again, not not trying to be negative here or anything like that. You know we came away with the two points, but I think you've also got to be you've got to be real as well and just know that those first first two periods weren't good enough. And, uh, uh, yeah, turn it look, the fans are going to go home. They're going to be delighted. They've seen the, the, the team come back from two twice. They've seen two late goals. Um, some of the fan favourites, uh, you know, get, get on the score sheet and, and an empty net to finish it off. I think the fans were great, but they'll remember that. They'll remember the, the, the victory, but uh, there's a lot of work to be done. A lot of turnovers in the, on, in, on the blue line and, uh, and uh, forwards given the freedom of the city of Peterborough. Uh, and I think we need, to, we need to tighten that up. Yeah, I, I think, you know, the last, that, that four game winning streak that we went on as well, yeah. we, were, we really had tightened it up there quite a bit. And, um, you know, I guess those first 40 minutes, like I keep on saying, we kind of got away from that a little bit. So we need to, you know, make sure we're we're back at it again this week, training and getting ready for this weekend. Because you know we've got Swindon away, which is not going to be an easy game, and then we've got Raiders back here, and we know they don't make it easy either. So again, we need to keep picking points up because, especially for the cup competition, you know, these two games. Am I right? Raiders is the first one yeah, I think so. at home for the year, and obviously Swindon away is the first one. So, you know, we can still, you know keep pushing on that you know you're not not out yet but it's it's just picking up points and keep chipping away and hopefully again we just start to get some bodies back as well and uh, just to finish up Callum got uh, man of the match he's, he's taken your beers hasn't he because we're up on the gantry we've got you as man of the match yeah, it's, it's, it's not about that Callum Callum plays hard every single week I was, I was pleased for him to get his goal you know and um, yeah, at the end of the day it's a team performance you know what I'm like that's it that's it we I'd rather us have a 6-4 win and lose and we get man of the match. It's not this. It's, thought, it's not the same. I thought Callum was immense, and there was a, there was a passage of play uh, just when it was uh, uh, when they pulled the net minder, and he uh, took care of Matty Davies, and I thought he did really well. So uh, a great game there, just at the end from Callum. Thanks for joining us, Tom. Well deserved two points for the Phantoms. Uh, we look to next week. Certainly Cheers. Do.